Can blue light hurt your eyes? That is a question that we get a lot here at Bond Charge. Um, but first, let's, let's describe what blue light is. So blue light is found both naturally and artificially okay so naturally blue light is found in the sun it's great during the day it helps in train your circadian rhythm and it also helps you feel alert awake um, and able to operate during the daytime blue light's also found artificially and it's found artificially in things like laptop computers smartphones led house and office lighting fluorescent lighting, um, televisions, car headlights, street lamps, your fridge light, things like that. Blue light isn't inherently bad, okay? So blue light is, is good and bad. Blue light's good during the day because, like I said, it trains your circadian rhythm, keeps you feeling alert and awake. Not so great during the evenings because it causes you to feel alert and awake, which is the opposite of how you want to be feeling in the evening. You want to be feeling relaxed in order to produce more melatonin and get better quality um, REM and deep sleep. Now, blue light, both naturally and artificially, damages the eye, okay? Studies have shown that blue light causes ocular damage, which can lead to things like eye strain, digital eye strain, computer vision syndrome. Um, it can lead to dry eyes, watery eyes, headaches, migraines, um, and, and the like. Now. The way blue light is packaged up is it's packaged up as high energy visible light um, in a very short wavelength um, type of photon, which basically stores and packages a lot of intense energy in such a small space. And this is what gives it its property of, of being harmful, or damaging to the cells within our eyes. Blue light does hurt your eyes, both naturally from the sun and um, artificially from digital backlit devices, but it's important during the day you don't be blocking blue light, okay? Blue light's essential, as I've mentioned, for the reasons. I won't go into them again, but we get too much of it now. We get too much from digital devices, from artificial sources, but we also don't get enough red light as well, okay? So red light is a restorative frequency of light. So when we're out in the sun um, during the day and we get maybe some eye damage, um, ocular cellular damage, caused by blue light, the red light present in the sun then restores and repairs that damage which balances everything out. With digital devices and artificial lighting, they're very high in um, very high in blue light, very low in red light, so you're getting all of the benefits of the blue light during the day, um, but you're not getting any of the, uh, but you're also getting all of the, the, the damage um, as well and none of the restorative red frequencies in there to help you repair, so blue light hurting your eyes is, is definitely um, definitely an issue um, when it comes to digital eye strain and ocular health and this is why you should always wear blue light glasses during the day that don't block blue light but filter it okay remember don't block blue light during the day it's very important and that's why you should always wear computer glasses which are clear lenses you know like these you, you can see here um, that, that filter some blue light I, I typically prefer yellow lenses um, because they filter a little bit more of the blue light and I'm a bit photophobic um, I have a sensitive sensitivity to blue light which means I get migraines so I like to filter a little bit more and that prevents blue light from hurting hurting my eyes because the less blue light that's penetrating me from artificial sources on, on the eyes um, is going to lead to less ocular damage which is what we want we don't want eye strain I don't particularly want it and I don't want to have migraine triggers from artificial blue light as well hurting my eyes after sunset, we've got to block all of the blue light for a circadian rhythm standpoint. Um, blue light and most of green light is, is very detrimental to our sleep. Um, it still hurts the eyes in the evening because we shouldn't really have any blue light. Our ancestors wouldn't have seen blue light. Um, so if you're using digital devices and you want to protect your eyes in the evening, um, then you should always switch over to a pair of, of glasses, of blue light blocking glasses that protect your eyes from blue light damage, but also protect your circadian rhythm as well and help you sleep better in the evening. Just think of our ancestors. What, what light would have they have seen in the evening? Well, the campfire, what light's that red, orange? Um, no blue light would have been present. So there you have it. Like, blue light does hurt your eyes and it causes ocular damage because of how tightly bundled the energy is um, and it's, it occurs both naturally and artificially, but the blue light in isolation is a problem from these artificial sources. So always get lots of regular sun breaks outside, 
always take breaks away from your screen and also wear a good quality pair of, of, of blue light um, glasses or computer glasses as well that will filter down blue light and protect your eyes from the harmful effects of blue light. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, any comments below or any questions, please let me know. Um, I always love answering them. Always take great enjoyment out of, out of answering those. Anything relating to harmful blue light, stick below and I will answer those. Please feel free to like this video. Also share it wherever you like and please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for tuning in.